Joining us tonight on News 4 6, I'm Jessica Bowman. Matt Breen has the night off. The holiday travel season is officially here. That means millions are boarding planes, trains, and automobiles. According to AAA, more than 115 million Americans are set to travel this holiday season. So let's take a look at these numbers tonight. In 2019, the year before the COVID-19 pandemic, 119.3 million people traveled for the holiday weekend. In 2023, AAA is estimating 115.2 million people will travel either by car, plane, or other types of transportation. That's up nearly 3 million people from 2022 when 112.7 million people traveled for the holidays. And we have team coverage of holiday travel in Siouxland tonight. KTV's Katie Koppel and Larry Winter covering travel for us as Siouxlanders began to hit the roads and skies. We begin coverage tonight with Katie Koppel, who joins us right now with Live Link 4 from the Sioux Gateway Airport with more on how Siouxland's travel season looked from there, Katie. Jessica, as you mentioned, millions of people are hitting the roads and the skies for holiday travel season. And here at the Sioux Gateway Airport, they are busier than usual. With just two flights a day out of the Sioux Gateway Airport, staff here are used to screening just a handful of passengers at a time. But with the holiday season now here, this small airport is seeing more passengers coming in and out of the airport. I spoke with airport manager Al Lorenzo earlier today, and he said today and tomorrow are looking to be their busiest days leading up to Christmas. As you can see right now, through the passengers that are going through the screening point, we're almost 80% capacity on the air carrier itself. Coming into next week, it will be Thursday and Friday again for travelers returning. So that will be nationwide, one of the busiest seasons for Christmas. There are just two flights a day at the Sioux Gateway Airport, a 6 a.m. flight to Denver and an afternoon flight to Chicago. Now, if you're not flying here out of the Sioux Gateway Airport, chances are you're flying out of Omaha, out of the Epley Airfield. Now, if you're heading out there, you need to probably add a little extra time to your travel day. They are having a continued construction for their airport reconstruction project at Epley Airfield in Omaha, Nebraska. An ongoing airport reconstruction project has put a bit of a snag in holiday travel. The airport's drop-off and pickup location is now located inside the main parking garage on level one, leaving travelers walking a bit further than usual to get to the ticket counter and to TSA. Now, if you're heading to the airport, either traveling yourself or picking up or dropping off, you'll see plenty of signage pointing you where you need to go. Now, if you are flying this holiday season, especially through a bigger airport, here is a few tips to make sure your flying experience is as smooth as possible. Arrive at the airport at least two hours before your departure time. This gives you enough time to check bags, get through TSA, and also find your gate. Now you can stay up to date with your flight status through your airline's free mobile app or your airline website. You can also check TSA guidelines for what you can and cannot bring in your checked bag. The most important thing this holiday season is to just get to your destination safely. If you want to hear all of these tips again or check out the Epley Airfield map, you can head to the web, our website right now, ktiv.com. I've got all of that linked for you right there on our homepage. But for now, reporting live at the Sioux Gateway Airport, I'm Katie Koppel, back to you in the studio. And on top of the millions of air travelers, AAA is forecasting more than 100 million Americans will drive to their holiday destinations. The cost of holiday travel will be less than it was this time a year ago because of lower gas prices. Right now, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline is $3.10. That's down 11 cents from this time a year ago. In Siouxland, prices are even lower. Iowa is now averaging $2.84 a gallon. In Nebraska, it's $2.91. And in South Dakota, the per gallon price of gas now $2.98. Locally in the Sioux City Metro, prices right now around $2.75. KTV's Larry Wynn spoke with some holiday travelers who've hit the road to reach their destinations this week, and he joins us now live in studio with a little more on that travel rush, Larry. Jessica, we found there were two things on the minds of those travelers, the weather and gas prices. We talked to a few of the people who stopped at the Pilot Travel Center just off I-29 in Sioux City. A few were traveling with children, others by themselves, all trying to get safely to their destination. And to do it as economically as possible, thanks to lower gas prices. Pretty decent till we got closer to Storm Lake and then the fog and the mist moved in. But from Storm Lake to here, it was good till we got to Sioux City. So yeah, it was just a drastic change. Well, 
last few weeks, I noticed they have been going down, but uh, uh, like everybody, my dad used to say, and everybody, you know, it's not like what it used to be. Weather's great. I love Minnesota weather. This is great. I'm used to worse. We're from Minnesota, but we live in Omaha now, so this is fine. Now that's a native Minnesota girl for you on the way back to Fairmont in her home state. Weather, not a bother. Jessica?